So we were looking to develop this application for uh, managing our projects and we had detailed requirements gathering done, very good UI mockups done as well. And the team was looking at high code, low code, different low code options. I had known from my experience before that uh, compared to typical high code solutions like Java.NET or Node.js, React and things like that, Apex applications are about 10 times faster to develop with about a quarter of the development team. So I felt very comfortable and we were looking at a very aggressive deadline. So I knew that low code was the way to go. So we looked at a number of low code solutions and um, again, based on experience, knowing that this needs to be a pixel perfect implementation of the UI mockup, perhaps even an improvement, as well as integrations into so many other systems with data that was already being in an Oracle database. This was a database centric, data centric application. So given all of that, Apex was clearly the choice. So it came down to cost, our confidence that the UI UX can be replicated faithfully, the ease of integration. So we already had Oracle Server Suite, so there were many other factors that led us to Oracle Apex. Yeah, so when you go from high code to low code, a couple of things that immediately come uh, to mind will be how much of the code, the business logic is in the database layer versus the application layer. So the more that you have in the database layer, the easier it is to translate to Apex. The applications become a lot easier to stand up. Um, if otherwise that part of it has to be translated. Um, other than that, if you're already in Oracle and a good chunk of your business logic is documented and is in the database, it's a very easy transition. It's a lot easier than you would expect. I have been using Apex for a long time. I still get surprised when a project gets done as to how easy it is. My favorite aspect of Apex is that I can make a mockup in Apex in about the same time it makes it takes me to do it in Figma. That just is awesome for me. So people get uh, fairly productive with Apex very quickly. So we hire every year about 20, 25 interns. And uh, typically within three months, they are very, very productive. That doesn't mean like any other technology that people don't make mistakes and you still need experienced people to help them understand some of the specialized features, what to do, what not to do. But the learning curve is very, very low. What you have to guard for is Apex is unlike any other development platform that they typically go through in college, right? So you need to give them a little bit of time to get comfortable with the, the approach here. But once they get the approach, they'll be very, very productive. I would say that as long as you have the original development team that wrote all the code, you're probably golden. The moment they go, you look at the maintenance it takes to make a change, that is when you'll thank heavens that you have a low code solution. It's not just about developing the first tip solution. It is about living with it for five years, 10 years, continuing to make changes with new team members coming up to speed and understanding what to do without going through massive documentations. So our company is uh, focused on bringing biopharmaceutical solutions for helping accelerate life-changing therapies, bringing them to market faster. So in order to do that, our CEO has made a major commitment to data and technology, as well as bringing insight-driven solutions. You don't get insight-driven solutions without AI. So AI is a big part of our implementation. We want to bring intelligence to every aspect of the enterprise. So we have an intelligent enterprise program and it focuses now on two major streams, the traditional AI and machine learning stream that focuses on making predictions such as which sites are likely to enroll faster, how fast can we enroll patients, which sites are uh, need a nudge here, 
and then a second somewhat really interesting area is generative ai how can we use generative ai to accelerate how we help our customers how we show our commitment to customers so within the generative ai area we're really excited about solutions such as the ability to write a brand new clinical trial protocol from scratch and this is an actual apex application that is doing this now um simpler ones such as chat against a protocol you're running a clinical trial and you're looking at a 100 page protocol document there is an apex application that allows you to ask a question against a protocol and it tells you what's going on we have we are really excited to add another feature the pdc application to bring in monitoring and oversights and this should resonate across every project manager every project team faces risks issues things that you need to keep on track of senior health runs thousands of projects at a time and there are people who are responsible for 10 different projects that are really dealing with hundreds of sites that all have different things going on at them so we are using ai to distill summarize monitor what's going on at these sites and bubble up to the project manager what they ought to be concerned about so you almost you come up in the morning ai is, has already read through everything that's going on in the projects and it's going to tell you here's what you ought to really look at yeah that's a good question so you look at ai this three major aspects right so you need data you need knowledge with gen ai to train stuff that's not apex you need an algorithm you need a model that's not apex but to bring ai to life in the hands of a customer it needs to be in a ui or a ux that it needs to be as non intrusive as possible i believe the best ai is ai that you don't even notice it's just there as a part of your job that's where low code comes in and apex has this really simple very reliable rest rest handlers that can talk to the algorithms regardless of which cloud they runs in and you just need to design all your ai algorithms to be api based that can be tapped in from many different applications but focus on which screen what's the right spot to bring that ai inside so that you actually change the business outcome so in a nutshell apex makes things easier because you're not thinking about apex you're thinking about how to change your business with AI.